You want to buy a robot? <laughs> we got all kinds. We got a robot you can wear on your body, and we got a robot that can walk around in a monkey brain. <laughs> All right, so we're here outside of uh, Salt Lake City. We are at, according to the address that is given, the office of the Sarcos Company, which is a bioengineering company started in the early 1980s. It was affiliated with the University of Utah. And initially it got, it was involved in animatronics. And then by 2000 got a contract with DARPA to the Defense Advanced Projects Research Agency to work on developing military robots and specifically exoskeletons. And so this was this idea that you like wear an exoskeleton and it helps you lift heavy things and like somehow it bodily enhancements. Although I've seen them, they're very clunky. They also developed freestanding robots, uh, humanoid robots. They're, they're they're old, you know, these were maybe 15, 20 years ago, so they were cl a lot clunkier than the Sophia the robots that you've seen, the Hanson robotic models. But there was a, an experiment in, I think, 2006, where some individuals at Duke University trained a monkey to walk upright with uh, a neural implant in its head and markers on its legs, and then they used AI and like listening to the calcium channels and the neurons in the brain to track the gait of the monkey walking upright on a treadmill. And they projected that movement into a Sarcos robot at Kyoto University in Japan on the other side of the world. So this is the stuff that was happening 15 years ago. They were already developing uh, telekinetically controlled remote robotics, and Sarcos is among in operating in that space. Uh, right now they are starting to commercialize their products for a number of years, about seven years between 2007 and 2014. They were owned by Raytheon and they had a company there. It was Raytheon Sarcos and then Raytheon got bought out by a consortium of investors. Um, and that consortium included uh, this was in 2016, Cottonwood Technology, Caterpillar, GE Ventures, and Microsoft. So they led a financing to buy it out from Raytheon and start to commercialize the products along with Schlumberger, Rotor Capital, Alex Brown, and DIG Investment. So now they're looking at scaling this military robotic technology into the sector where they call it um, robot uh, robot as a service. Like they, the, the business model they have is that you will rent your robots and you will hire robots either as exoskeletons or as workers, I guess, and, and that's moving forward. And so where this fits into the puzzle, remember we were talking about advanced neural prosthetics and that monkey walking on the treadmill, walking the robot, the Sarcos robot halfway across the world, that's gonna be the model of globalization 4.0 and um, you know, living our lives like that is probably what's going to make people very mentally unhinged. And then that's the need for all of the psychiatric social impact finance is to try to normalize what is profoundly abnormal militarized behavior. And this is the new economic model. And, you know, this came out of animatronics. These people made animatronics for Disney. It's sort of like Walt Disney World and the military combine in some sort of hipster maker space with uh, gourmet, you know, shade grown coffee. And that feels like this future of war, like what the future of war is about these days. It's, it's this weird blend of sick popular culture and, you know, military and hipsterism. And it's not normal. It's just not normal. But um, anyway, this is all stuff that's embedded in Salt Lake City. Um, we're kind of freezing here because it's a really miserable day to be out. Um, but we wanted to make sure and show you this. Again, the building is still under construction, so I'm not clear if, if they're actually here yet, or maybe they just have a PO box in this building. But, you know, uh, Jason was just telling me industry is sort of a franchise, co you know, co-working types of one of these co-working spaces. So, um, you know, keep your eyes out for robots as a service, rental robots, and put your brain in a robot. Because if we don't say no, that's the future that, that we're raising our kids to be placed into. Let's not do that. Let's say no to the animatronic robot monkey brains, okay?